Hey there, Internet friends. Trevor Starkey here with another episode of What I Feel Like Friday. The big story that I'm going to talk about today involves uh, Andy Signor of Screen Junkies and the kind of allegations that have come out against him uh, as kind of a serial sec- sexual harasser. Um, when this came up a couple months ago, uh, more in in my area of uh, interest with Nick Robinson and all the stuff that happened at Polygon, I couldn't even really speak to Nick Robinson because I have never really seen much in the way of his content. Um, but I kind of responded at that time with a very kind of frustrated rant and and my own personal experiences in in dealing with or not dealing with sexual harassment in the past when I've known about it or when I've seen it firsthand. And of course, in that instance, you had um, Polygon basically letting Nick Robinson go. In this instance, we've already seen a statement from Defy Media that Andy has been uh, suspended uh, while they continue to look into these allegations. Disheartening is the fact that most of the um, accounts that came out today already involved people having gone to Defy Media's HR to complain about them for at least months, and nothing had happened. So um, my frustration is is kind of twofold here in that, of course, um, it's frustrating that, that someone in Mr. Signor's position uh, was allowed to kind of do that for so long by the HR department being complicit in uh, in that regard. That's that's disheartening, um, and they and they should be held accountable as much so, if not more so, than Andy, um, because it is their job to provide a safe working environment for their employees or for their contractors. This one also hits me in a different way because. I am a fan of Honest Trailers. I've probably watched every single Honest Trailer. Um, I've been a fan of Andy for a couple years now. I've, I've really enjoyed movie fights. I've enjoyed Honest Trailers. Um, and it's it's an instance where I wouldn't have even guessed as an outsider, as somebody who just kind of consumes the content, that that's the kind of person that is lurking beneath the surface on that. So more so than... Nick Robinson, when it happened in the gaming sphere, I felt this weird kinship to Andy Signor and and this, you know, this this you know lovable schlub kind of persona or something who who has a passion for movies in the same way that I have a passion for video games and I have you know a passion for movies as well, just not as deep of a passion for movies. Um, so it's it sucks seeing that and and kind of coming to terms with oh well I guess I can't enjoy that content anymore and and I, I won't even say that because uh, based on kind of a, a lot of what I've seen around Twitter today um, this news blindsided or seems to have blindsided a lot of the people that he worked closely with Dan Merle's come out against it uh, uh, Spencer Gilbert I know has come out against it um, a lot of the guys over at Collider who have worked you know in, in kindred spirits uh, Ken Knapsack uh, has come out against it. So it seems like Andy was maybe doing a good enough job hiding this from his peers. Um, you know, I, I want to assume that's that's the case. I want to assume people didn't know that he was doing this and are now kind of trying to save face themselves. I want to assume that this was a, you know, a, a, a guy who kind of did this stuff on the lowdown. Um, and, and, you know, it isn't part of a larger culture. Um, but of course I don't, I, I, you know, I can only take kind of people's words for it, um, as an outsider, as somebody who's, you know, not involved in that scene, but I follow enough people involved in that scene. I think that, uh, that do live their lives in a very public sense, um, constantly, you know, blogging and, and vlogging and YouTubing and, and whatnot that, um. Uh, but yeah, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna believe that Dan was as shocked as someone like me was, um, even if he works with Andy on on a daily basis. I imagine ultimately this will lead to very much a similar kind of situation as the Nick Robinson Polygon uh, issue did. I imagine by you know next week, 
Andy will have been let go from um, Screen Junkies and Defy, and the team at Screen Junkies is going to kind of have to figure out what they do moving forward. Um, you know, in a in a way that, at least because I didn't, I don't follow Polygon. Um, I didn't really ever have to see how they dealt with it, talking to their audience um, in podcast form or, or in their news stories or anything like that. But, you know, if I go and watch Tuesday's Honest Trailer and, and Tuesday's Honest Trailer commentary, there's no avoiding this whole thing having come up. So I imagine we'll see them address it in some way. Um and I like, I feel bad for Andy Signor's wife and kid, kids. I don't. I I think he's only got one. Um, that's. I, I imagine you know that's this. It has to suck for them. Probably finding all this out through Twitter, um, and and I'm sure he's having. He's going to be having some very hard conversations with them uh, this weekend. And you know, you, you reap what you sow. So it's it's, you know. History is caught up with him. And, you know, of course, this is all coming off of um, the back of the week of allegations uh, against Harvey Weinstein, Weinstein um, big Hollywood longtime producer, um, in the same vein of like, oh, people finally got fed up with him and are calling him on his sexual, his decades of sexual har harassment, um, seeing it, you know, in in such a more... I guess like indie underground kind of sense with with honest trailers and with screen junkies seeing that same kind of thing like I hope we're getting to a point that enough women are brave enough and strong enough to come forward with stuff like this that the assholes that do stuff like this stop it stop doing stuff like this from a psychological perspective it's interesting because I'm sure we are pretty much all judging Andy here from the worst bits of his behavior, the, the, his worst days, um, and, you know, as always, kind of how do you weigh the art versus the artist, I certainly won't be able to look at honest trailers, especially honest trailers of the past, without kind of now having this lurking thing sitting there saying, oh, God, he was being a uh, an asshole to to these women that he worked with, and he exploited his power, and and knowing that is just gross. Like, do, did me watching the content somehow empower his behavior in that regard? That's a that's a thing I that that you know, as a fan of his work, now sits with me, and it's obviously nowhere near the shit that the women who have come forward had to deal with from him and probably others out there have had to deal with but that's how it affects me and that's what I can speak to directly I, I can empathize with how those women feel and and I am I applaud all of them for coming forward and telling their story and and uh, and hopefully getting some justice from all this it's a shitty situation in the same way that I imagine Nick Robinson really isn't gonna be doing much in the video game sphere for a while um, if ever again, I imagine Andy Signor is going to walk away from this, having to kind of come out, uh, up with a new career path that kind of removes him from the movie scene. And that's got to suck, but that's probably still coming off really easy in the in the long run with the shitty things he is alleged to have done. If you've been following the story, I hope you've been as supportive to the women who have come forward as uh, I try to be and as I, I hope others have been. As always, I've been your host Trevor Starkey from TrevorTrove.com. You can follow me at SnarkyStarkey on Twitter, and until next time, from here at the Trove, treasure your friends.